Oh no, I missed it. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm still feeling that pumpkin spice. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, we tried a ton of pumpkin spice items and I'm not even kidding, This woke, I woke up this morning kind of like, you know like when you have something you do one of those those little burps and you like taste it again? Kind of what happened so far throughout the day. I just had treatment number, what the heck is it? 19, I got 19 down and the hair is kind of coming out a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the burn mark now. So I've officially been scarred. I've burned the laser. I think that's what that is right there. I can't really see it right now. I'm trying to look at the roof right there. That I think is where the, uh, the hair will not grow back just because it's been concentrated. Supposedly all this will eventually. It's kind of gnarly because this morning I woke up and my hair looks like Remy's when uh, we both wake up around the same time. Our hairs are like all Oh, and then this is happening too. So that's... This is the most uncomfortable part right here. I don't like this part. This is the one that really makes me feel weird. Yeah, I don't like that one. That one, I can handle this one because it looks like a bad COVID cut. This one just looks awkward. Just finished uh, 20, so that means, what, 14, 13? Yeah, 13 or 14 left. And I cannot wait. October 30th, just before Halloween. Pretty pumped about that. At least I don't have to do this for Halloween or around Halloween, although, I would have a pretty gnarly mask and uh, costume already. <laughs> I don't have to spend a dime. I finally got this one down too. She's been very tired today. And she's such a good sport coming with me all the time and running to me. Come in, baby. Hi. It's the cutest thing in the world. Every time I come out and I meet Allie and uh, Remy at the car where the ducks are, Remy always runs to me and just kind of like goes to me. So it's probably the highlight of my day it's so cute how she's now understanding things like that my little ram dog my little bright eyes passed out as i'm talking to you i'm getting one of those kind of things i need a ton of water is what i need right now i'm actually trying to upload this stupid vlog for the past i don't even know how long on friday the big surprise is actually happening so i'm making sure i can get that all planned out so i was on a mission on our way back from char's appointment to find a carpet we found two so i'm gonna try and see which one we like better and then return the other one Ow! it's coming for you what do you think remy you like oh, this new rug get on it we're gonna see you're gonna climb it here i'll climb you can climb uh, there you go it's so big remy <laughs> so much room for activities! <laughs> <laughs> you can do some dancing, you can probably spin. So there's this option. This is nice, so it won't slip at all on this no, one. No, it's really nice actually. And we can put it in here, you know. The CTFXC vlogs over the course of <laughs> years have become weather, rugs, and grass centralized. Dude, I feel like our house. <laughs> That's our life essentially. It's been a Battle trying to figure out. I'm not leaving here, but it's been a constant battle trying to figure out how to complete our house. Someone said to me one time in the like, I feel like it's like our second year living here. I'm like, oh, our house takes forever. It took us forever to unpack. And like, listen, you're never gonna feel complete getting your house done. And what you do, you're selling it. Yeah, pretty much. So many activities, Ram. Hi. I'm in the middle of doing dishes, okay? So I think I'm gonna multitask right now. I know we mentioned to you guys, I think like a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, um, about it being hurricane season and about how we kinda had to prepare and prep for it. I think we just found out, was it today that we found out that it was heading this way or was it more towards Louisiana? Uh, our friends are going to uh, New Orleans, so they had to kind of postpone because Hurricane Delta, we're at 20 hurricanes this this is hurricane season, which is insane, unprecedented. Because we've been really lucky to where they haven't really, they haven't, I don't even know if they've really made landfall on Florida in a negative way. I don't think it has, it's, it's, it's They've all turned into like tropical storms or something smaller. Hurricane prep hasn't really been like a big issue this year and I don't think anybody's really freaked out this year over it. Delta is a pretty big storm from my understanding and it is going to be, they assume it's gonna be hitting Louisiana you know how Mother Nature goes, things tend to have a mind of their own. I kind of want to prepare for that. 
So I think that's eventually what we're gonna do later on this week. But it's really scary. Wanna play soccer? Get a water break? Let's play some soccer. Shh. Not paying attention if you ever play soccer with your milk? Nope. Handball, 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 handball. Handball, don't do that, nope, nope. Handballs, yellow card, yellow card, red card. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is, no, it goes down here, soccer ball. Ready, I'm gonna kick it into the goal. Oh no, I missed it. Goal! Goal! Almost caught it. As if 2020 couldn't get even weirder and lamer and horrible, Eddie Van Halen, you guys know what, I'm sure you guys know Van Halen, uh, the guitarist, uh, just passed away from throat cancer. And the craziest thing that I've been reading is that they're linking it to the fact that he had a metal pick and he always put it in his mouth. So they're linking that for 50 years of doing that to throat cancer. Insanity. I don't think I can, that's probably the strangest thing I've ever heard. So I guess my message, if you are a guitarist, don't put your metal picks, I don't actually know anybody who has metal picks, in your mouth, especially for 50 years. I also got today the uh, replacement for my phone. As nerdy as it is, the feel of a brand new phone without a case is amazing. However, somebody likes to watch this annoying stuff on my phone, right? And talk in the microphone. <laughs> Year ago, maybe two years ago, we did the whole like pretending like you're hurt or pretending like you passed out or something with your dogs. I don't think anyone actually reacted the way we thought. But we're gonna see if Remy, uh, I know. It's a little trend thing that I saw. Yeah, it's a little trend. It sounds kind of messed up, but I'm actually yeah. curious to see. She's gonna bring you a book first. I'm trying to see, I wanna see what happens if Allie tries it with Remy. Remy! Are you reading right now? Like a good girl? You don't like toys, you like books. I love that. Such a good girl. You are so oh, you. <laughs> You're such a good baby. She's like, no, I know you're fine. So nope, nope, you tricked me. I'm out, I'm out, peace out. Oh my God, that was really kind of crazy. That was actually cute. She's so sweet. Remy! But she, she wouldn't do it to me. She'd probably come up here and bop me in my face. <laughs> Remy, daddy's crying. Daddy's crying. Thank you. I feel so much better. Remy, go give Daddy a hug. He's sad. I'll be right. Remy, I'm so sad. Remy, 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 what's wrong with Zaga? It's the worst cry I've ever heard in my whole life. Remy. 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 Yeah, sorry, Char. I'll do my Nancy Kerrigan. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was her. I was like, oh, it's actually working. Well, Remy. More interesting? Daddy's very sad, Bubby. Remy, I'm so sad. I'm going to give you a treat. Tell me you guys like me. Remy, I'm talking to you a whole pizza. She's sticking things in the rug instead of coming to see what I'm doing. Remy, I'll give you a treat. You're lost. You're done. <laughs> well, we figured something out. She's still a mama's girl. Our neighbor that's down the street is one of the nicest ladies ever. And uh, she always, you know, keeps a look out of the house, the cars and stuff like that when she we're traveling. Awesome. She's like, she's like the mom of the whole neighborhood. Anyway, it's her birthday. Remy and I and Allie are gonna go take her a little birthday gift. And Remy drew her something. Obviously, she did all that by herself in the lines and everything. That was my, that was probably my doing, but we're just gonna pretend like this is from, this is all Remy's handiwork though. 
I feel like some people appreciate this and other people are like, oh, thank you? I mean, we have hers over there too. This is a very momentous day for me. Today is the day officially that Blinky now fits my little homegirl. She's like, I'm too interested. <laughs> nope, no. <laughs> She's like, they're so cool. I need to walk with you? I'll walk with you. Let's take a little stroll, okay? We're gonna go on the grass. To look a lot like Halloween. You know what this reminds me of? Halloween, Halloween Horror Nights. R.I.P. Get it? I don't think anyone appreciated that joke. Oh, you like it? Don't be scared, it's just Snoopy. Aw, oh, alright, pick it up. Snoop Dogg. He's not so bad, is he? He's not mean. These are the creepy ones. Let me look at these. I think the things that don't move towards her, she's okay with. Just the things that are like, like moving over there. Oh no, Halloween is going to be rough for this baby girl. It's okay. Over the years, we'll train her. That one's kind of creepy. I've heard that this place is a cursed patch of land. It has been driving me bonkers knowing that some of these stupid lights aren't working. Because you know, trees need to be lit up at night. Oh, I'm going to see if I can fix this stuff. Let there be light. What do you got? You got a supreme pumpkin? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. She's ripping off the stuff, so be careful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big pumpkin. All right, my man. This is gonna be a fun Halloween. We gotta do our famous uh, daddy uh, pose, pumpkin pose. We gotta do it this year. And Remy's, Remy's made her first appearance last year. And she was a potato. Now she's gonna be pretty hard to probably sit down with. But we gotta do it. I don't know how many years we've been doing it. Six years probably, seven years. 2013, 12, 12 or something like that, we started doing it. You guys probably know more than I do. I have to look at my phone. Little Rim Dog is finally asleep, and I'm just kind of watching some good old Simpsons and uh, basically trying to finish the vlog. What you just saw, isn't that crazy? Vlogception, as we all used to call it. It was so cute to see how Remy like gravitated to Allie and just ran to her when she wasn't feeling good. It was actually kind of funny that she kind of didn't ignore me. She brought me a photo. I think she's trying to make me feel better because here's this a photo right here. It's actually all the girls from the wedding. So, I mean, I guess that makes me happy. <laughs> so I guess she kind of knew. Then she proceeded to put stuff in the rug. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, bye.